Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. I will be walking you through fourth grade mathematics today. And the contents that we are going to cover is week number 25 and day number one, part of the curriculum. So if you've got your workbook over there, please turn to page number 184. Um, so we're going to be talking about the different types of lines today because we are going to build on that understanding to const construct our shapes and do a lot of fun things with geometry. Okay, so different types of lines. So what are different types of lines? You've got horizontal lines, you've got, you've got vertical lines, you've got parallel, parallel lines, you have um, perpendicular lines, okay? Different, different kinds of lines. Watch this. All right, so I've written different kinds of lines on the board for you here so that you can commit them to memory, and they're pretty easy to see. They're pretty easy to follow, follow, follow with. All right, so a straight line is gonna be a line that is just like this, right? It goes all the way from the left to the right, or it can go all the way from top to bottom, or it can even go like this diagonally. That's still a straight line as well. So long as there's no bends to it, it is a straight line for you, okay? Can you remember that? A straight line. A straight line is going to be the shortest distance between two points. So if you have a point here that you want to call point A and another point here that you want to call point B, well, when you connect both points together, you get a straight line. What is the definition of a straight line? The shortest distance between two points, okay? Because I could have got, gotten through, uh, gotten from here to here by trying to go like this, right? And then that, that's not gonna be a straight line anymore, that's gonna be a longer line. Now, if I were to go like this between these two points, I just made a curved line. Okay, so this is gonna be a curved line like that. A curved line is a longer distance between these two points over here. So two types of lines so far, straight line, curved line. Well, if the line is parallel to the horizon, which the horizon just missed the floor right now, all right, it is called a horizontal line, okay? So you can see the line is gonna be pretty much like parallel to the horizon, to the floor, to the, ho to the, to the horizon. That's why they call it horizontal, okay? So that's an horizontal line, all right? So three types of lines, straight line, curved line, horizontal line, what about this one? The vertical line. The vertical line is going to be a line that is perpendicular to the horizon. Okay, so it's not going horizontally, it's going vertically. Literally like it's trying to shoot for the sky. Okay, so that's a vertical line. All right, what about parallel lines? So this is a way that we can use to compare two types of lines. Okay, so a horizontal line traveling down like this and another horizontal line traveling from left to right over there. If the distance between both lines remain the same as the lines are drawn, then the lines are parallel lines. And what's the caveat to that? Parallel lines do not meet, okay? You're not gonna see this parallel line later down the road trying to intersect with this other line over there. Parallel lines do not intersect. And to show that they do not intersect, they put this little arrows over here, this, this arrow on top of this one, another one right here like that. So those are parallel lines. Well, perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines are gonna be lines that intersect at 90 degrees, okay? Perpendicular lines, they are lines that intersect at 90 degrees over there. So there's a vertical line, there's a horizontal line, they intersect at an angle of 90 degrees. All right, so let's try to see if we can identify some lines in this shape over here. So let's look at line HI, 
compared to line IJ. So H I I J. What is the relationship between H I and I J? Well, you can say H I is going to be perpendicular. Okay, per pan decular to line IJ, right? What about line JK? Line JK and ML, okay? What's the relationship between line JK and line ML? Well, that's gonna be parallel. You can see that they will never meet, okay? Parallel lines, okay? So just a quick uh, refresher on what we talked about, and there are different types of lines as well that we're gonna be talking about in a much later date. All right, did you get something from it? I hope you did. I wanna thank you for joining me today, boys and girls. Remember, God cares about you and so do we. Bye-bye. I'll be your hero's body. And as you study with heroes born